And now the details. A man is in custody after authorities say he used a U-Haul truck to crash into a security barrier near the White House. Sources tell ABC News the driver threatened the president's life. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has the latest now from Washington. Law enforcement tells ABC News the driver of the U-Haul, identified as 19-year-old Cy Candula, traveled from St. Louis to Dulles, where he rented the truck and drove to the White House. Witnesses saw the box truck speeding down D.C. streets just before 10 p.m. Then the driver crashed into a section of security barriers on the north side of Lafayette Square, across from the White House. And the truck cut right in front of the path that I was going to take onto the sidewalk. So this was probably no more than 25 feet in front of me. The truck then hit the barricades a second time. Thought maybe it was just an accident, and then I, the U-Haul backed up and rammed it again. After ramming the barrier, authorities say Candula got out of the truck and began waving a flag with what appeared to be a swastika on it. And that's when officers from the U.S. Park Police detained him. The Secret Service cordoned off a multi-block perimeter surrounding the White House and the park. A bomb-detecting robot was used to sweep the rental truck, but no explosives were found. Sources tell ABC News the FBI interviewed Candula and told law enforcement Enforcement. He wanted to seize power, take over the government, and kill the president. Authorities are also looking at Candula's mental health as part of the investigation. Candula is facing five charges, including assault with a dangerous weapon and threatening the president. No one was injured during the incident. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.